Okay guys, let's look at Saturn today. It's over there. You guys see it? Right there. It's over there and we are gonna use the Evo Star. I've showed that to you guys a couple times. Uh, the 120 ED, which should be a pretty good scope. Uh, so it's been cooling for probably an hour and a half, way beyond what it needs. I am ready here and let's, on the EQ6, so it's more than enough to hold it. I hope my polar alignment is good because I'm facing the building and there's no way to know exactly where Polaris is, but um, that's it. EQ6, non go to, just tracking. And let's see how Saturn looks on this guy and uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, like usual, I'm just going to, I took out the finder scope because on this angle, it's gonna be right hitting my forehead and I don't think I want to knock my head. So let's just find Saturn without the finder scope. And, okay, there it is. Took a couple seconds only. And yes, okay, small Saturn. Just put a 32 millimeter. Again, the same one I always use. 32 super wide, easy to find stuff. And uh, let's turn on the system. Nice and clear, almost end of July. Saturn's in opposition, I think in about four to five weeks from now, I think. So it's not too far off from being on its prime. And uh, let's pump up the power. Now, on this guy, it's a 900 millimeter focal length. 900 millimeter divided by 6.7 equals 134 power. So I would say that's kind of medium, not super close, not super low. Ooh, okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I see two moons, uh, one at like three and two o'clock. Hmm, not bad. I think most people probably would be pretty happy with that. Let's put, put up the 4.7 ultra wide angle, which now is giving us a, is 191 power. Okay, not bad. 150 to 200 power is very nice on Saturn. Look, it's in the eyepiece, it's focused. I don't think I have to focus. Focus seems to be pretty good. As you guys know, last week I used the five inch Takahashi and that looked really well. But I was, okay, 120, uh, let's say times two is 240. And I was almost 100 power past the Takahashi's uh, theoretical power. So let's see if we can approach that and see. Actually, this looks very good too. 6.7 and it, two times, uh, Barlow, 268 power. Okay, that will be a good test. So this is going beyond the theoretical power, but not by a whole lot because 240 power should be its maximum theoretical and I'm at 268. So I'm just above it by 20 power. So looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good for this guy over an hour and a half maybe closer to two hours cool down time so that should be plenty there's no way i could say it's better than the takahashi or not it is very good both were good i do see the cassini division a little bit here and there uh, comes in and out 4.7 divided by 2 we get 2.4 so 900 divided by 2.4 equals 375, wow. I don't know if it could do that, really. That's going way above its theoretical. Wow, I'm pretty surprised. 375 on Saturn, it looks huge. Do we know what I was on the uh, Takahashi 3, 341 or something? So this is actually more, because I didn't use the 4.7. I only use the 6.7 on the other one. Wow, that is huge. And the image is actually pretty good. Let me get Angelus. This is 375 power. I'm pretty sure that is crazy for that power. It looks pretty good too, big. 341, but this one, I didn't push the other one as high as this one. And I wasn't using the 4.7, I was using the 6.7 with the two times borrow. So because this one is smart, smaller, Focal length, I put the 4.7 to get more power, but I think it looks pretty good. 
Yeah. Number two, there's one more thing. See, when you compare, it's hard to say. Today, we're looking at Saturn that's much higher than last week. La last week's, it was about 25 degrees further south. Now, this yeah. one is much higher up. So the higher up the planet goes, the more or the less atmosphere you can look through. See, this is why sometimes... Yeah, and yeah, when you can just see Jupiter down there. So it's just rising, or it looks like uh, like 15, 20 degrees. But you know what? I cannot see the Cassini. Okay, that's, in, that's interesting. So at 375 power, we're blowing it almost three times what it can go to, but it's not as clear no. as the other, the other but, one. It was clear. But the other one, we weren't as high as this. We were at like 340, this is at 370. But I really can't go in between. I change the eyepiece, it's 264 power. Okay, I'll do it for you. Okay. It's almost like 90 power less, so it's gonna be smaller. Well, still kind of big. I mean, that looks pretty good still. Uh, study it a little. Yeah, actually it looks clearer. More clear, clear. Yeah. yeah. So 264 power on this guy is clear so we're only about 20 power more than the other one so this one sounds like you could go to its maximum power or about 20 um power I see like a little little star in the top yeah that's uh, two of its moons so it looks like the evo star can go up to maximum and maybe 20 power past maximum and that's where it breaks down uh once you go like much higher than it doesn't. Now the Takahashi went almost 100 power past maximum and it still showed pretty good. So yeah. I guess that's where the quality difference comes in. Yeah. But... Um, Here it looks amazing but I cannot see still the Cassini. You still can't yeah. see the Cassini? No, but it's, still, it's, it's clear but I cannot see the Cassini. Okay, so that's interesting guys. So on the Takahashi, you saw the Cassini more clear than on the Evo Star. Um, okay, thank you for your input. Okay guys, I will try to put the cell phone to the eyepiece again. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I can get it focused properly. Sometimes the camera is allowing me to do it. Sometimes it can't. But there you heard from both of us uh, compared to last week to this week. But you know what? We have to test these two side by side. The Evo Star and the Takahashi 128. Again, remember, this is a 120 and that's 128. Eight millimeters is not that big of a difference. And uh, we gotta try to get the powers very similar if we can. But she thinks that on this power, it looks clear, but the Cassini division is, can't really see it. And on the other one, she could easily see it at the high power. So that's interesting. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. Bear with me. Okay guys, hopefully you guys like that. Okay guys, that's it for this video. It's getting late. It's probably at least 1, 1 1.30, something like that. If you guys, thank you for watching and thank you for all the subscribers that have been with me a long time or from the start. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, uh, share my link. If you're on the forums and somebody's asked a question about one of the videos I've uh, used, or are done please share the link with them and um, I do have now a members forum where once a month I post put videos only for the members it's only 99 cents I'm trying to keep it as low as possible also put your name in the description and guys why not you why not me cheers and that's it I turned off the drive now that I turned off the drive, you can see it going. And that's the real movement. Okay, guys. Cheers.